What has impressed me most about Dr. Murdoch? Uh, it's hard to narrow down to one thing, but uh, there's one thing that comes to my mind or comes to the surface, and that's his leadership. He was the one who hired me. Uh, he's been my boss for 25 years, so to speak. There were three other people in the department, James McGoldrick, Alan Monroe, and Joe Halsey. These men were very strong personalities. They had opinions on everything. And so when it came time to discuss business and do department kinds of affairs, uh, they were not bashful or at all shy about expressing their opinion and their viewpoints. There would be disagreement, uh, there would be different perspectives and so on. And Dr. Murdoch created an environment where basically we could express our opinions, we could disagree with one another without feeling as though we were being oppressed or rejected. We could still remain friends and work together as a team. Murray's been uh, a man of great energy. He, uh, at one time, was coaching a tennis team. He was the advisor for Alpha Chi. He pastored a church in Westerville, and he carried a full load here while chairing the department. Those were quite a series of all of them could have been full-time jobs in, in one way or another. He was an excellent coach. He was an excellent uh, friend. Cedarville's been a better place because Murray Murdoch's been here. You know, Murray hired me at Cedarville University 17 years ago. Um, hard for me to think of Cedarville without Murray in that sense. As a faculty member, when you do this for a long time, you have to think about what it is that motivates you. You know, why do you get out of bed every morning? Um, I think for Murray, it was very clear that it was teaching. It was the act of teaching, it's the interaction with students, the challenging of students on a regular basis. I think sometimes as people age in this field, they lose that. It may be time for them to move on because of that. That's never been the case with Murray. He's loved students, loved the classroom, and I think the students know that. Dr. Murdoch's impact on Cedarville University cannot accurately be measured this side of eternity. He's impacted students and he's impacted people personally through his classroom. He's also impacted the entire university. With his stands for a biblical worldview in every classroom to make sure that we are properly integrating scripture into everything that we teach, he has held a high standard for a Christian university to be truly Christian. He's impacted many faculty members and he's impacted the direction of the overall university. Dr. Murdoch's a man of conviction. The fact that he stood against racism and that all were created equal at a time when that was not popular helped to direct Cedarville University to be a place where anyone can feel welcomed. Dr. Murdoch has also clearly articulated his stand for biblical justice rather than social justice. As he's done these things, he's held high exactly who we say we are, an institution that's for the Word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. Murray impacts everybody's life, I think, because he, he exudes uh, the, the position of Christian belief and he applies that in all his life, and he has. He's been a pastor, and he, uh, he does a good job there. He overworks. That may be the biggest failure he had, <laughs> and I was part of the cause. I mean, we were family. I mean, that back in then, it was less than 40 faculty members, probably, and, uh, and Murray was a leader, almost, because he was outspoken. He, was, he knew where he stood. He had his philosophy down. He knew why he was doing what he was doing. And, and I think I gained a lot just watching him and other of the faculty be faculty members and, and do the thing they're supposed to do. But anyway, he was, he was an example. Congratulations to Dr. Murdoch on serving the Lord at Cedarville for these 56 years. My name is Chip Bernhard, 1977 Cedarville graduate, which I think was Dr. Murdoch's favorite class ever to graduate from Cedarville. Dr. Murdoch is known for his warm smile, his keen mind, his hard tests, his excellent tennis teams when he was a coach, and his passion for helping us understand what biblical racial justice is all about. He's been a friend of mine whom I've consulted on church and denominational issues. He has a pastor's heart with doctrinal conviction. It's always a better day for me if I bump into him while on campus for trustee meetings. Thank you, Dr. Murdoch, for staying faithful all these years. God bless you. I was impressed by his energy <laughs> for many years, which of course has played out now even. Um, 57 years, I think, almost of teaching. And I was also impressed by his real godly spirit. He had a gentle spirit about him. 
Uh, you might expect somebody who had a PhD from Northwestern to have a uh, sort of a, a little bit more of an, uh, sort of a, a superior view of others because Northwestern is a very prestigious school. He didn't at all. He didn't, not a bit. Uh, I appreciated his collegi- again, his collegiality, his humility, his gentleness with students especially. Uh, he could be hard in class, yes, but he was gentle with the students, uh, very kind to them. I think with Murray Murdoch, what you see is what you get. Yeah, he's, uh, you know, he's a genuine man. He wants to know you and genuinely wants to know you and know about you. He really uh, shied away from being referred to as the boss. You know, you're the guy in charge. No, we're serving together. We're in this ministry together. And uh, and I, I really appreciated that about him. And I think that idea as well, that I didn't come to Cedarville necessarily to pursue the next step in my career. I think with Murray's direction, it really became an understanding that this was a ministry, that we were here to work with the students and to help them realize where God wanted them to be in their lives. And that was first and foremost with Murray, and I think it became first and foremost with me.